Hello everyone, so you want to get yourself the best possible M for your operator to take down those pesky trees and also to take down those pesky Thrax units. Well in today's video I will be covering the best possible amps to create for a new player and also a veteran player and without any further delay let's get straight into this. So you just started off Warframe, you know you're a little bit day, you know a couple weeks in and you're wondering how to get your first amp. Well, how do you get it? Well, completing the War Within quest will give you the Mot Amp. The Mot Amp is completely freaking dude do and you want to get yourself something a little bit better. Now, yeah, on the screen right now, you have a little bit of a spreadsheet. On here, you can see tiers 1 to 7 amp parts. Tiers 1 to 4, you can get at Cetus, at Quill Onco, and the best possible amp that you can get here is going to be the 1, 2, 3. The number corresponding to the tier of part of amp that you are going to be getting. So, of course, the Rap Lack Prism, the Scaffold is going to be Shark Sun, and the Brace is going to be Lauren. This is a tap firing amp. Honestly, really good against uh, Thrax units. Not the best against, of course, Eidolons because you do have a couple of tiers more above, but we'll get into that. But other than that, this is a really good beginner amp. I have been using this, honestly, for the longest time just because I couldn't buy bother to level up Voxelaris. But Honestly, 1, 2, 3, pretty decent, decent stats as well, you can see them on the screen right now. Now, once you have completed that, you're bored of this amp and you want to get better tiers. Tiers 5 to 7 inside a Fortuna with Vox Solaris. Now, the best amps that you can get here are going to be the 777 and the 177. So the 777 is going to be the Clamora Prism, the Proper Scaffold and the Certus Brace. Now. This is a no-brain, no-aim, Ignis Wraith type of amp for your operator. It does have short range and smaller flat damage compared to the last one that I mentioned, the 177, but it is incredibly decent against Thrax units and it can be used against Eidolons. I do, I do see people using it against Eidolons, but it's not my type of T. So, what is the 7? A 177. The Rap Like Prism, the Proper Scaffold, and the Certus Brace. Really good range, really good flat damage, and really good critical chance and multiplier stats as well. Now, then honestly, in my opinion, this is the best amp that you can use, period, against Eidolons, against Thrax units, against basically anything that comes up. Of course, that is amp related. Uh, of course, you can use different ones, you can try different combinations, but these are the three that are meta and that are best, in my honest opinion. Now, you might be saying, well, I need to boost up my damage against those goddamn Eidolons. Madurai is going to be incredibly good at that. Now, using Madurai, and what do you need to focus on them? Containing, uh, containment Wave is going to be one of the best abilities that you can get. This is your second ability, emitting a Void a Wave that, of course, covers the enemy inside of Void uh, Energy and making them gooey and sticky and basically more vulnerable to your operator damage. So that is pretty good. Void Shrek is also very, very nice. Your first ability basically consumes all of your operator energy and it deals 10% additional damage for every percentage of energy consumed for 40 seconds. Also very good. Power transference, or I guess power transfer. Now, this is also very good because it increases your amp critical damage once you transfer from Warframe to Operator. That is very, very good. Now, let's cover the arcanes that we want to get. So. First of all, Operator Arcanes. There is a couple of here. Uh, we have Magus Lockdown. You basically, once you Void Sling, you drop a mine, uh, attracting, or I guess not attracting, but tethering 10 enemies inside of a 15 meter radius for 4 seconds. This is incredibly good for normal gameplay, against disruption units as well, against basically anything that can kill you really easily if you're quite scared, uh, even against Acolytes themselves. A great uh, Operator Arcane to have. Instead of that, what you can do is get Magus Anomaly, on transference in uh, enemies within 50 meters are pulled towards your Warframe. So, pretty good one as well. The second Operator Arcane is Magus Repair. Once you're in Void Mode, you heal your Warframe that is within 30 meters by 25% health per second. Instead of that, if you don't like using that, another cool thing is Magus Elevate. On transference, you have a 95% chance to restore 300 health to Warframe. So basically, if you go, if you get that 5% chance that it doesn't heal it, basically just transfer a couple more times and there you go. Magus Nourish is also a good Warframe healing ability, while an Operator restores 
towards 35 health per second to Warframe, but in all my honest opinion, Magus Repair is just that bit better. I do see people use Magus Melt as well on Void Slaying, it increases heat damage in Operator Mode by 30% for 15 seconds, and it stacks up to 7 times, but I think this is a little bit rarer than the other ones that I mentioned. Now, with your amp, you're going to have one slot unlocked. The second operator, oh yes, sorry, uh, the second amp slot, you're gonna have to buy yourself an amp arcane adapter. So you need to go to Cavalero inside of the Chrysalith and basically purchase him for 20,000 standing. You do have to be angel rank, so that's max rank, but uh, yeah, you can get your second arcane for your amp. And what are the best arcanes for your amp? Well, Eternal Eradicate and Onslaught is the best and the most meta arcanes that you can get at the moment. Eradicate on Operator Ability, you get 60% damage for your amps for 8 seconds. Basically cast either your first or second ability uh, if you're in Madurai, and there you go, you have 60% damage. And Eternal Onslaught on your Operator Energy Depleted, you have 180% critical chance increase for 8 seconds. The best way to proc Eternal Onslaught is going to be Void Slinging into the ground a couple of times, uh, going into Void Mode after that, or even casting your first or second ability, of course, for that juicy Eternal Eradicate. Now, if you do go a couple of steps back into Madurai, if you're fighting, of course, the Eidolons, uh, inside of Madurai, you might remember that we have a Void Strike. This consumes all of your energy of your operator, so this could be pretty good. But, you know, it depends. If you're fighting Thrax units, honestly, Madurai is definitely not a must. You can just use any focus cool that you like. But, basically, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, do leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. As I said, it really is personal preference. I prefer the 177. You maybe not. Maybe you preferred the 777. Or maybe you still even prefer the 123. I do not know. It is, uh, it's just my personal preference that I prefer the 177 instead of the 777. I have heard some people say I think it's uh, 553 that some people use that, but I'm not sure. But also, as I said, mix it up. Check out some YouTube videos other than mine, of course, about, you know, different amp parts and everything. And that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Do leave a like and a comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. The Gaming Weasel, over and out.